Hello! This is a quick video to walk through setting up our very first Omnichannel Flow. You might know Omniflow as being the new way that we configure all the routing requirements for Salesforce channels. What we're going to do in this video is set up the simplest case routing use case uh, and show you just how quick and easy it is to do. It's accompanying a blog post that I've linked in the uh, linked into the details of the of the video. So let's start in our org where we're going to go in and configure that first flow. We go to set up and open up flows and what we're going to see here is how all of the omni-channel capabilities have actually been exposed inside the, the flow builder. When we go in to create a, a new flow, which is what we're going to do today for our routing, you'll see that there's actually a, a flow type of omni-channel inside the all plus templates. The number of template, pre-built templates there, but we're just going to create a blank one. And on the left-hand side, you'll see a number of different actions available. Uh, this is all of the different Omni capabilities. So RouteWorks, our key one, that's where we're going to define the routing requirements. Uh, but there are a bunch of others as well, like uh, add skill requirements, where we can define uh, skills-based routing rules. And then also uh, add screen pop, which is actually quite a cool new feature that lets us define what records are going to open up when the agent accepts the work from Omni. But the first thing that we need to do is go in and define some uh, some input variables so that we've got the record information that we're going to, to route. Uh, this is particularly key for uh, for the real-time channels like voice chat and messaging where we specifically want to, to follow the naming convention that we're doing here where we pass in uh, record ID and that's the, the ID of the record. Make sure that we mark it as available for input. Um, uh, but for, for the case scenario, we're still going to want to do this anyway because we need to we need to get that, that case ID in. Uh, with the other channels, as I mentioned, that we also actually pass in the uh, the actual full object as well, optionally, if you wanted to. So you can define that. Again, uh, with case, it's, it, it's going to be an, an optional field, but we're going to do it for, for convenience here. And so we're just going to create an input record, uh, input variable, uh, and we're going to make this of type case. Again, make sure to mark it for input. Um, all right, so the very first thing we want to do is make sure that we're able to route all of that work to a particular queue. So let's drag on the route work action from here. As I mentioned, this is the, the key action where we've got all of the different Omni routing requirements exposed uh, as an available invocable action. So we're going to say that this is routing to the tech support queue. Uh, pass in the record ID of the object we want to route. In this case, it's our case. You select the uh, service cloud channel, and then you come in and select the type of routing you're going to do, whether that's queue, skills requirements, or the new one direct to agent. We're just going to do a simple queue, and you can either select the queue from a pick list, or you can actually pass it in as a variable if you wanted to load it somewhere else in the flow. Again, we'll just we'll just set it to route into the tech support queue. Uh, and then at the, at the bottom, there's an, a number of other different options as well. Like actually, what you're seeing there is the, the screen pop requirements, but we're not going to do that today. And if we wanted to, we just drag that on there, and that's us. Basically, we've got a, a case routing flow that's going to take all the cases that come in and put it into the tech support queue. But that's a bit simple and boring, so let, 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 let's see the power of how we can actually do something a bit more, more interesting by building some logic that routes to a different queue based upon the, the case subject, perhaps. So let's drag a decision node on, uh, and we're going to check for some keywords in the case subject. This is a simple example of some flexible routing, but I'm sure you can imagine with the power of the Salesforce platform, you, there's a, a million different things that, that you could you could do. Uh, we're just going to check and say, okay, let's, let, let's check to see whether or not the uh, case subject contains the word tech or billing. Uh, so we'll just put in two different conditions in here to, to check for that. Like I said, maybe think about the really the true power of flow being that, that you can build any logic that you want to. You could perhaps be looking up the contact and checking whether they're a VIP or maybe checking to see whether or not they've contacted us recently and then routing direct to the agent that spoke to them beforehand. Any one of a number of scenarios. We're keeping it simple today to, to get it going, but uh, but really, the, the power of flow is where you, you've got that incredible flexibility to use any CRM data to drive the routing. But from that, we'll join it all up. Let's, let's connect it up for the, uh, for the tech support scenario. And then we'll drag on one more route work action to route to the billing queue. Just configure it exactly like we did before. Pass in the record ID, 
make sure we select the service cloud channel, mark it as a queue, pick the billing queue, and there we go, good to, good to go. And from that we can actually save and activate our flow. Now if this were one of the real-time service cloud channels, like voice, chat or messaging, then we'd go into the setup screen for them and there's now actually a dedicated option for configuring which OmniFlow you want to run when they come in. Uh, but for case routing or any other object in Salesforce, we need to find a way to trigger it. Uh, and that's the where the, those objects are really flexible because you can trigger it at any key point. Uh, for today though, what we want to do is just come in and create a record triggered flow uh, that we'll set up to run on case creation. So we're just going to specify that this is going to kick off every time a case is created. Just that simple. And then we'll add on a subflow which is going to invoke our uh, omnichannel routing and say that basically whenever uh, whenever a case is created we want to run the omniflow. Uh, now let's make sure we pass in the parameters that we need so we're just going to pass in the, the case just by selecting record, removing the dots and then uh, let's pass in the case ID as well by going to record ID uh, let's save it There's the case trigger. We'll activate it. And that's us done. So let's do a quick test. Uh, we'll come in here, let's create a, create a new case. Let's, uh, let's make this one a billing case and we'll just put something simple in the subject. Question about my billing. Uh, let's say it's from our customer Lauren. We'll hit save. Let's go offline just quickly to make sure that it doesn't come straight to me and I can show this to you on the supervisor screen. And if we go to Omni Supervisor, we'll see in the queue backlog that there's been a case actually gone into the to the billing queue. Now again, we could be doing way more complex scenarios here, but the, the key point is that we've built some dynamic logic for that channel. It's taken in the event of the case being created and it pushes it straight to the agent. And with that, we've built our first omnichannel flow. I'll definitely put some uh, other videos up about some more complex scenarios covering other, covering other videos, but for now, uh, you've hopefully got something to get started with. Best of luck, and let's, let's see what you come up with.